Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doki Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at how the physical Super Saiyan future Gohan performs in the event after his recent Extreme Z Awakening. So obviously Gohan got a pretty good Extreme Z Awakening with essentially gaining 158% attack, 158% defense depending on how much health he has, 30% standard damage reduction and an additional 7% damage reduction per turn. This means Gohan will likely end up being one of the tankier units in the game and is one of the tankier units in the game. Based on our review we can see that he tanks really really well and it doesn't take him too long to really get going. He also greatly raises attack and defense on his super attack which does help him out quite a bit and allows him to essentially perform a, a lot better defensively overall. So in terms of build we've gone for double 130% leads for this stage. I would honestly suggest that you instead uh, go for a full Goku's family build. Uh, something under the GT Goku is probably better because even though Gohan won't have as high defense or as high attack the raw stats alone will suit your team better and having Gohan in it will be fine. Gohan doesn't need trunks to be tanky so just having a Goku's family team that has Gohan should be more than good enough. But for this current team build we're going to pair him up with the super trunks and we're running him under double 130% physical Go Tanks lead. So that's the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Overall, I'm not really expecting this team to complete the event, but it's more to get a good idea of how Gohan performs with and without Trunks alongside him and just how he does in general. But for the most part, I'm not really too concerned about Gohan. Uh, I think he'll be great overall. This is a 100% Gohan which does make a difference of course uh, but because Gohan does mainly rely on damage reduction over his defense especially if you don't have a Trunks then for the most part having just a 55% Gohan should work for you but you won't see the exact same results you see here but because he's heavily reliant on damage reduction he should still be fine. We have him in this turn with the help of the great Saiyaman unit. Uh, we're going to see if he can tank this turn without an item. You can see here he's got 74,000 defense, which honestly is not that bad. It's a pretty decent amount of defense. Remember, he's got 30% damage reduction here. He does not have it anymore. So we'll take a good look at how he performs overall. Uh, this is with no item whatsoever. He's going to take a super attack before supering. And he took 123,000, which is honestly perfectly fine. 123,000 on a super in the Gods of Destruction event is a more than acceptable amount of damage to take. So that's a really good start from Gohan. We can see how after his super the damage dropped down quite significantly as well. Uh, which means that overall we'd be looking at a sub par or a sub under 100k damage super after supering. And we'd also see only about 2,000. That's also without a Trunks in the rotation. If there was a Trunks in the rotation, it's more than likely that we take pretty much no damage whatsoever. And we probably take close to 50k, if even on the super attack, which is honestly really not that bad. So yeah, pretty good performance there via, well, by the um, you know Super Saiyan Gohan, pretty solid. We will be activating the item now and we will see how that obviously influences him. For the most part, any kind of damage reduction item is going to be something that is quite easily um, going to make Gohan tank perfectly fine because damage reduction items are additive. So it just means that Gohan's going to have above 60% damage reduction now and we'll also have a Trunks in that exact same lineup next turn so Gohan realistically won't take any damage which is also fine we do just want to compare his defensive amounts for those people that haven't really seen how he does with the trunks alongside him overall though I do suggest you go for the Goku's family team build it is just going to be a much better team build overall if you can do it otherwise you can possibly do it with 130% team you do just need to be careful and probably have quite a few dupes in the go tanks. 
if we take a look here his defense has shot up quite a bit it's way beyond what it was before so in this scenario we pretty much shouldn't take damage if we are especially with an item active we shouldn't take damage if we are you know essentially going to take on uh, a super attack from this unit we do have an additional 7% damage reduction uh, that was added in last turn of course or this turn I should say with Gohan gaining that 7% every single turn so pretty much a unit that's just not going to be able to take damage which is something that's super duper helpful obviously in general any unit that can come into the guard to destruction event and without much setup support or anything else can take you know pretty much double digits on normals and um, you know less than I'd say 150 on a super attack is pretty impressive and it's a unit you can really really build on uh, which is something that obviously just helps everyone quite a bit because you know having that kind of wall tank unit is really really good but that's kind of going to be it for this video we're not going to make it past this round unfortunately um, we don't get any dodges with the go tanks so we don't really manage to get through the round but for the most part Gohan's looking really really good uh, he's looking really really solid he's great in ESBR we've seen him there he's great in uh, the Gods of Destruction event so realistically speaking we've seen him in enough locations now where I think he's just you know doing a really really good job so I don't think there's that much more that we need to see from him as a unit and I think his diversity is fine like I said even without a trunks uh, unit next to him the whole time he's the kind of unit who will be more than fine like he's gonna be more than fine he's gonna do more than fine like as a unit and so we don't really need to panic too much about it we should be able to see a really really good performance from him most of the time uh, and then we just get super at here which is kind of what kills us uh, and then we get a bit unlucky but that's okay so yeah let me know what you guys think and let me know your thoughts down below let me know if you think he's a good unit or a bad unit have you used him in the gods of destruction events or have you used him in any events and if you enjoyed the video why don't you guys leave a like on it but with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one so until then take care stay safe and as always bye